Hi everyone, welcome to another video. It's been a long time. I'm really sorry. This year has just been absolutely mad. But I'm back and I do plan to release a video every week. So stay tuned for those. And today we're going to start with the new tool for the Clo 2024, which is the knitwear designer. A lot of people were waiting on this. I think Clo really needed a specific tool for knitwear and we got it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to use it. What are the different settings you can have and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like this video, please give it a like and comment down below what else you want to see in this channel. And I'm going to leave the file for download on my store on Closet. So I'm going to have the link down below if you want to download it just for exercise purposes. And I also have the link for my course in the description box. The course should be coming out very, very soon. So if you want to be part of the waiting list, just go sign up and I'll be sending emails with more information. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump to Clo 3 d and I'm going to show you guys how to use the Knitwear Designer tool. I have a very simple outfit here, just trousers and a top. <laughs> Why can I speak? It's been a long time since I made a video, so just bear with me, okay? And we are just gonna make a new knitwear fabric to put on this top. And the way you start is just selecting the fabric that you have on the top. And then you come down here on the property editor. I'm just gonna make this bigger. Instead of fabric type being fabric matte or shiny or satin, you're gonna choose knitwear. Just give it a second. This is how it looks like. It's always gray because every single thing is white. So I'm just gonna change the color now just to make it easier for everyone to see when I change things and you know, just to make it easier. Now you have obviously the type is knitwear and then the stitching here it starts with the first one on the list. So gar garter, I never know how to say the name of this stuff. Okay, so this is how this one looks like. I'm gonna open the big 3D window so we can see better. That's a stock knitted. Me and names. Okay, in English, I'm sorry. You just go through them, you can see the different ones. This is reverse, seed, moss, rib one and one, two by two. See how it changes. Four by two, belt rib, and honeycomb. To me, it looks really realistic and reacts the way it has to when you simulate. On the property here, you have the gauge, which refers to the number of stitches per inch. Obviously, the higher the number, the more stitches you're gonna have. So, you know, more dense it's going to look like, and the lower the number, more spaced out. So it really just depends on what you want to do. If you have this information from a real knitwear fabric, you can obviously add that here. So the ply amount is the number of threads. You can have the one. So my one was orange, so it would be all orange. You can have two. So my one was orange and blue, three, four. And if you get very, very close, you can, you can see what's happening. So one, two, three, four, up to six. All the different colors here, you can choose every single different thread color. And then you have the yarn thickness. You can play with it, the thickness of the actual thread. So two, three, see how thick is, is getting. Or you can go lower and it's not as thick. And on the generate seams is the seams between patterns. So if this is off, it looks like this, okay? It doesn't seam together. Even if you have it seamed on the patterns, this is how it will look like on the knitwear. So you always just check generate seams and it will connect. Seam length, so you can play with that as well. Default is one. Seam curvature, default zero five. I assume this has to do with how malleable your seam is. Yeah, so the smaller the number, the more the seam will kind of turn usually keep it on default you can see how nicer it looks then you have the normal map i wouldn't really touch the normal map you can obviously take it out of here go on photoshop and work on it if you like everything is already made for you so you don't really need to and then the colors depending on the amount of ply amount here you're gonna have different amount of color options to play with okay and that's basically the knitwear i would leave the knitwear for for last 
on a project because it is a lot heavier so your simulation might struggle a little bit but it simulates nicely you know i think it looks really realistic and it performs simulates very nicely too and obviously you don't need the whole thing to be to be the one fabric so you can make another fabric and change the colors for example let me just and then you just come here and change it and obviously it's gonna be different i can even change the type here you know i can come here and now make this a rib and maybe just the one color doesn't need to be all the same it just means that they're gonna be different fabrics here and you can see that they don't give you like a preview so i would just name them different things so knit one knit two but yeah i i think that's mainly it for the knitwear obviously if you have an inspiration like a photo as an inspiration you can try to copy and mimic that and just kind of play around with the tool until you get the effect that you want I do think that they will keep adding different types here and probably more settings but for now I think this is pretty good you can literally do anything here I really really enjoy it I think it's a pretty good tool I think they will keep updating it and making it and perfecting it more and more over time I hope you guys enjoyed this video I think you should go to Clo and obviously update to the newest version if this is not available for you yet it's because your version is not the latest one so do that first and then try it out I think everyone is going to enjoy this new feature and i think it, it was something that cloak was lacking that other softwares already had and also go sign in for the waiting list for the cloak 3d essentials course and follow me on instagram for more content but that's it for today i'll see you guys next week bye